mean, this is the easiest political test anyone in elected office in a democracy can face. Will you accept the, the core and fundamental principle of democracy? The answer is obviously yes, if you believe in democracy, and the president couldn't give that answer. Now, there was a Senate resolution passed last night that Democrat Joe Manchin of West Virginia sponsored, which called to reaffirm the peaceful transition of power, and that was passed unanimously. But it's a wake-up call that that has to happen, right? I mean, we're in a situation right now where the president himself is forcing the Senate to say that the fundamental principle of democracy is still in operation. I mean, the, the idea that this is somehow alarmist to say that Trump's authoritarian tendencies are worrying, I think, is that ship has sailed. It's quite clear that the Senate is having to act to, to say that this is still a fundamental principle of the country. Now, I think a lot of this hinges on how the margin shakes out on November 3rd and in the days after as the votes get counted, because if it's a landslide victory for Joe Biden, which is possible given the polling right now, none of this will matter that much because it will be unequivocal. It won't end up in the courts if Biden wins you know, 10 more states than Trump. If this all comes down to one state, which right now is looking like potentially Florida, Pennsylvania, those sort of uh, swing states that are very, very closely contested, then you could have a battle in the courts, and that's when this type of rhetoric gets so dangerous. So the question is, how close will the election be? The closer it is, the more that the rhetoric matters, the wider the margin, the less the rhetoric matters. Very important distinction, uh, Professor. If we do end up in a situation where we are in the courts and the Supreme Court is uh, pushed to make a decision and break the contentious result, how much permanent damage could that cause? I mean, when you think about the way the United States is is set up, a president can only be in office for two terms, so one more term for President Trump. Is this the kind of thing that America could come back from, uh, or will this cause really lasting damage? Well, I think Trump has done serious and lasting damage to American democracy. And I think that, you know, w w that statement to some people, especially Trump supporters, seems extreme. But if you think about the things that people who chip away at democracy do, the sort of despots of the world, Trump has echoes of those strategies throughout his presidency. I mean, you have the attacks on the press, the appointing family members and cronies, the using the political office for personal and, and political gain and financial gain. You have him scapegoating minority groups in the country. I mean, all of these things are hallmarks of countries that are not democracies. So I think when you look at what's happening now and this sort of uh, attempts to discredit the election falsely, as President Trump has been doing, well, people listen to the president. His words matter. And if 40 percent to 45 percent of the country believes that the next president is illegitimate because they are deluded into believing things that are fundamentally not true, that does lasting damage because democracy requires compromise and it requires a shared sense of legitimacy for the president. And so I think these things are truly serious. And I think we need to uh, behave very, very carefully in the next 40 odd days uh, as we pick the next president.